Cavaliers 52% so far in this game. And how about the Leafs and the Flyers tied up one apiece? The game that is of paramount importance to the Raptors sporting brethren is Tracy McGrady with a nice layout through the middle. Butler Strong, he's a physical player. When he puts that ball on the floor and goes to the hoop, you've got to be careful. Carter going to the middle, finding the open man again. McGrady acrobatically in line. That's a nice move right there. Tracy Strong to the bucket. And it helps when you have that ability to hang in the air, get to the other side of the bucket and use a nice hand. And Vince Carter attracting the defender, and then Tracy doing a real good job here using the glass and his body to shield the defender. Before the game, they boo him putting on his uniform. That's how much they dislike Sura. Sura tried to make the steal, couldn't. McGrady got the step. Brown couldn't get open. McGrady does, and Tracy McGrady at least has given them a presence offensive capabilities. He feels good and is in his rhythm. Nice job there, little movement off the offensive rebound, but. Got to keep a guy like D. Brown in his scope. Got to give him more touches than he's had. Cedric Henderson is rejected, but goaltending score the basket for Henderson, and the Cavs are back up six. Cavs doing a real nice job on turnovers, missed hoops of trying to get out, run that fast break. Cedric Henderson really running the lanes well. You look how wide they are. This is an excellent fast break. Henderson reaching that foul lane extended and breaking in. That's almost Ferry escape the defender. Ferry open and Ferry with a miss. He hears it from some of the crowd. <laughs> you can hear pretty much everyone here. Oh, Tracy McGrady found Tracy the open McGrady. spot and D. Brown found him. And see, good things happen when you run the court and you're patient. D. Brown was patient, waited for Tracy McGrady to get down court. The defense doesn't give back. You're going to have scoring opportunities, but if you come down and take the quick shot, you're going to kill that opportunity. And for the first time, it's Mike Fratello calling the frustration timeout as the Raptors cut the lead to five. Does something. One of the things that Butch Carter always expects from Alvin Williams is good defense. And that's something he felt he's gotten from him. Just the offense, he struggled a little bit. Of course, he's a young player. And Doug Christie doing a nice job inside. Again, pretty much all his points have come from under for him there. Raptors can't keep it for last shot. There's an eight second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. McGrady with room. McGrady will take that jumper. And McGrady will hit it to cut the lead to four. Cleveland. Can hold posting against Brown up ahead to Sura. Sura with two on the shot clock goes up a wild one and it didn't go. McGrady pushing the other way. One of the rare chances the Raptors have had to run and Reggie Slater finishes. Well, they forced the issue right there. McGrady getting that ball in the middle of the court. Sura lost the ball, forced a bad shot up, but the Raptors coming right down by McGrady pushing it up and then Reggie Slater. You know, we talk about how good things happen when he comes in the game. Didn't get that last play where he went to the basket, thought he got fouled, didn't get the call. This time just running the court, making an opportunity. Trying for a stop. Double team against Person. The open man, Butler, cutting towards the middle. Butler loses it on the floor, and the Raptors come up with it. McGrady racing against Anderson, and he takes advantage, cutting the lead to four. Nice strong move and there, and how about that defense? And Tracy McGrady comes up limping. Timeout, Cleveland. He may have Cavaliers taken a hit timeout. either on the knee or the thigh there, Elliot, but great defense by the Raptors. They're taking away dribble penetration. Vince Carter knocking it open to his teammate, Cousin Vinny. Well, there. Well, I'll tell you what, what a long flight to Philadelphia, it would be the Raptors face the Sixers tomorrow, but if they were to lose this game, knowing that the Bulls beat the Hornets, that would really sting. And there's McGrady making something happen. 